Hello guys, this is Magic Tray, and I'm showing you some resolution comparisons between native 1440p versus native PS2. We're going to be doing some frame rate testing and show you guys the best settings for Ratchet and Clank. We are using Allow 8 bit texture, large frame buffer. Here is the 2560 by 1440p, my native resolution. Now, for Ratchet and Clank, you're going to need to use basic, fast, or full, very slow, up to you there. We're using this one here, full direct 3D recommended and we have nothing enabled in here. Uh, in shader configuration we are using texture filtering of display and FXAA shader. Alright, now we'll go to emulation settings and this is one thing you definitely need on a Ratchet and Clank game. Um, this is definitely recommended, make sure you turn on MTVU because this game like suffers a lot of frame rate drops and a lot of slowdown. So this is definitely recommended. You do need three cores. I have six cores. And uh, if you have three cores, you can run this. Um, and let's show you guys the dimensions of this game in software mode. Now, this game targets 512 by 448. This is the native PS2 resolution of the NTSC version. And as you see, this is what it looks like. This game does target 60 frames, and Ratchet and Clank is known for um, targeting 60 frames on the PS2 versions, and um, frame counters on the top right. Now, as you see, just looking over here, there are frame rate drops already. Plus, the resolution is awfully blurry, and there is loads of aliasing on the screen. If you look over here, it's obviously running smoother, which is good. Now, let's have a look at native 1440p and have a good, nice look at this comparison. Now as you see this is native 1440p and this looks absolutely amazing. There is barely any shimmering, uh, it is a lot more clearer and it also runs a little bit better. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, play for a little while and see what it looks like. Just having a quick look on frame rate comparisons compared to software and hardware. Now, if you don't run this game with MTVU, you're not going to be able to play this properly, so just make sure you have that on. Allow AP Texture will save you about a frame or two. Anisotropic Filtering is, you can use it on this game if you want, but you will lose about a frame or two, as I said. Um, but otherwise, this is actually fully playable on the PCSX2. I am using the May 2017 um, version, so it's working quite beautifully in this one. Let's go back to native um, PS2. Now here is native PS2. We're already getting um, more drops than the hardware mode version. And obviously it's a more blurrier. Still definitely well playable even on software mode. But obviously, you know, hardware mode is the way to go if you want to play this game at a higher, higher resolution. And that's, yeah pretty much it to be honest. We'll go back and have a look at native 1440p for the last time. But um, yes, this game runs quite well. The settings I have on run beautifully. So this is the way to play it if you guys want to play it with the settings I have. Other than that, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. See ya.